Greetings, gamer girls! I am Celestine, also known as Clone Collector 799, and welcome to Super Mario Star Road, another Super Mario 64 ROM hack. This is actually one of the more widely known uh, 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 SM64 hacks, and rightfully so. Let's take a look at the sign. Super, <coughs> excuse me. Super Mario Star Road by Skellix. Special thanks to Frobber, the creator of Super Mario 64 and Missing Stars. Bugs fixing, bug fixing, and tools used. VL Tone, tools use. Yoshi Electron, helpful documents. Toxic, play, text play testing and various feedback. CPU Hacker 101, various feedback. Subdrag, tools use. Thanks to the creators of most of the original MID files and the original Super Mario 64 crew. Thanks to the people who have supported Star Road and motivated me to keep working. Thanks for playing! And what does Yoshi here have to say? Hi Mario, it's great to see you again, but I have some bad news. Bowser learned the secrets of reaching the star, the world of star spirits, and and he's up to up at up at base yet. Uh, the big problem is that he has now access to the whole heap of star road portals, which which lead all over the Mushroom Kingdom. He's been using them to transport swarms of his troops, and they've been causing chaos all over the place. Mario, if you are going to stop Bowser, you would need to need to use the star road at the top leap star power to find it. Bowser has, has sealed doors leading up to the tower, but you should be able to break through if you could collect enough power stars to break the seals. Good luck! I, I'm not gonna say, uh, super, I don't know if I'd say Super Mario Star, Super Mario Star Road is my favorite, is my favorite hack. But I don't know. Uh, the camera controls actually were majorly improved, like... When you have the camera zoomed out in Mario's camera, you could just move it like you can in Super Mario Sunshine, which... Oh my god, that is a huge improvement. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that It Oh, it does do that in, Lak in Lakitu's camera. Oh, wow. Okay. Whatever. Let's just jump in it. Wait, what am I doing? There's a path here for a reason. Let's take the path. A Star Ro Super Mario Star Road was also the uh, first uh, Super Mario 64 ROM hack I ever uh, heard of, uh, and that was from the Game Salmon. What do you got to say, Toad? Over the over the over <coughs> excuse me. Over the horror on my way home from the shops yesterday, I was ambushed by a group of Koopas who stole all my cans. Begin. I tried again today, but the Koopas stole it again. Please stop, Bowser Mario. You're a pasta lover. I'm sure you know how I feel. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want to go all around the castle quite yet. Uh, well, actually, well, actually, I should mention you can get on top of the roof, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for later. For now, I'm gonna head over to that star island over there and see what's up with it. Some say that if you collect 100 to 120 star... Uh, po 120 power stars and pray to the star spirits in this spot by pressing C up, some, something good will happen. Well, we're, it's okay, so we're going to want to come back here. Let's turn the long jump, but... Uh, so... We're going to want to come go back there when we have 120 stars. Which is going to take a while. I like these tall flowers. It, it goes up in my freaking neck. You cannot open this door yet. There's a lot of remix it remix songs in this. Like some from there's a, actually a lot of Paper Mario aspects in this game, in this hack, which I really like because I love the Paper Mario series. You do not have enough power stars to break the seal on this door. You cannot open this door yet. It's not actually a door, but okay. And what do you got to say, Toad? No, 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 no. Hi, Mario. How's my painting? Careful not to scratch it. Well, certainly looks like it was taken with an iPod Touch camera. Uh, 
Let's just see how it's... Uh, oh my god, we went in the painting! Welcome to Course 1, Babam Islands. Ba Big Babam Sky 4. This is what a lot of people like about this hack. The remix music. Well, actually, I don't know if this is a remix of music. It's probably from like a Mario Luigi game or something, but... I don't know. But look at this. This is a Super Mario 64 hack. I mean, look look at all this. And look at Mario. He looks so much different than he does in the game in, in the in the original game. Wow, after playing Super Mario Galaxy Super Sunshine Galaxy 64, I totally forgot what his original eyes looked like, but no matter. What do you got to say, Bomb? Hey, you better better be careful. Uh, Hey, you, you better be, care be careful unless you want to get blasted by a war bomb from our enemy. We are peaceful Babombs who love the ocean and sky, but these other guys are completely war-hungry. Their leader is Big Babom. He stole a power star from uh, from us and is using it to win his, this battle. Say, you look pretty tough. Can you, uh, do you think you could do us a favor and get our Sar back? Good luck. So the Babom Buddies are blue in this game. That's cool. Or maybe these are different Babombs from Babom Buddies. It's a good thing we sunk our ship early in the battle. I hate to think what damage the cannons could have done. Oh, so I purposely sunk their ship. That actually sounds like a pretty good sound. Like that actually sounds like a pretty good set strategy. Why do I get the feeling? Oh, jeez, an amp came out of nowhere. Why do I get the feeling that there's already a mission in this game that we cannot do when we first? Oh well, we'll understand when we have eight stars. Basically, where you're supposed to go first is you're supposed to go up here. Cross this bridge and pass this. And right here, there's just there's just this uh, floating thing in the sky. And screw you, Goomba. And you also got these moving platforms that can be uh, kind of hard to jump up to at times. I just wanted to mention that this uh, hack actually has an exceeding uh, an exceedingly. Uh, a exceedingly interesting difficulty level. I'll, it's not it's not the hardest in the world, but it is it's definitely up there, I'm just gonna say it. Super Mario Star Road isn't very isn't that isn't all that easy. Hello, King Babom. You again? Are you following me or what? Or you better prefer yourself for a tough battle if you think you're taking my power star again, because I'm not gonna go easy on you this time. <coughs> oh sure. And I love this remix of the boss theme for Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know why, but I just love this song. If I'm not mistaken, I think he says the same thing if you throw him off. Urgh, the free again. Next time you'll be me walking away with your power stars, though. Ha 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 ha. Right. And we get our first star. You've recovered one of the uh, one of the power stars. Keep searching, and you need seven more, but you can open away any sealed doors. Top of the sunken ship. Uh, this is actually the first instance where we're gonna have to use the cannon, uh, but that cannon is covered up. But I know where the bomb buddy that opens up the cannon is, and I'm gonna be showing you where he is. Uh, this game, I should mention, isn't exactly 100% stabilized. There are a lot of instances where you'll bump at the walls that just aren't there, but... Anyway, here's the bomb buddy. Right on top of this castle thing. You need to use our cannon? Sure, just wait a moment while I open it for you. Ready to blast off? Go hop into the can when you're ready. Uh, will these guys say anything different? Thanks for defeating the big, big Babam, Mario. With the strength, with the strength of his recovered power, so we just might be able to knock out our enemy for good. So now what we gotta do is we gotta hop into the cannon. And we gotta blast over to that mast over there. Blast to the mast. Yeah, it might be a little tricky to get to, 
because it's possible you could fall off, but it did not matter. In the side of the mountain. Uh, this one actually does not involve climbing. Like, at all. What you're actually supposed to do is supposed to... Already start off the... Fucking long jump. Already start off the game with swimming controls, but it's not too long. Because all you gotta do is just go over here. Wall jump up here. And the, and you already got your star, which is... Coincident, like, bu bu coincidentally also in a... Question mark block. You should take a break occasionally, otherwise the game will be over before you know it. <laughs> that is true. I mean, that is true. You really should not try to beat games in one, sit in, in one sitting. But anyways, find the eight red coins. They didn't even bother changing the name, but oh well. Uh, two of the red coins I should mention are over here in the water, so let's knock out the... What is it with Mario and just not jumping? I don't know. Anyways, just go over here and there's one of them. There's another one over there. I hate this game already. Anyways, uh, here's the uh, other red one. Or other red one. I gotta stop like repeatedly tapping the tapping the C buttons because because um because I gotta remember that the camera moves uh. Moves like it doesn't sunshine. I really don't know why I can't just remember that. Right, I'm just gonna shorten time by doing this. Over here we got Chain Chomp, which you can't. I don't think you can free him because he's just attached to the ground. But there's another red coin. Uh, you can't just hop over and get that if you want to. Okay, whatever. Some of the red coins I should mention are, on, are also on the uh, mountain and on the floating island, so... Yeah. There's actually a lot... Now that I, now that I think about it, there are a lot more uh, similarities to this in the bomb Battlefield. There's just that box over there. There's one up here too. Hi, here it is. Oh, there's also a coin. I think we forgot a red coin down there. Yeah, you can see it on the castle thing. Pretty fun, funny if it did. Uh, I screw up in this a lot, so yeah. Okay, we're fine. Just, just long jump. Don't even bother doing like a regular jump or a cycle or whatever. Just, just do a long jump. Now the last red coin is a little bit easy to miss, but you actually have to. Well, you probably might have seen it in the first mission if you move the camera in such a way. But the last red coin's over here. It's like the last. It's like Bowser in the Sky all over again. Oh, jeez. Also, from what I understand, I don't believe this game reuses any, any, uh, ball smiles, which is awesome, because... Super Mario 64 had a few recycled boss, especially the Bowser, the Bowser ones. I mean, in Super, in Super Mario Sunshine, you fought the same boss, the Palua Piranha, five times, and... Super Mario Galaxy also had a, uh, couple recycled boss, but this game, no. This hack did not have any recycled bosses, if I'm not mistaken. But, just like Super Mario 64, this game, this game has red coin missions in every, every, uh, level. And like in Super Mario 64, there is a mission we can't do, because deep dive in the cage we're unable to do, because, well, it involves this cage right here, and, this, and that block up there is not for looking pretty, because, well, let's face it, it doesn't really look, look pretty at all. 
Okay, I guess the Black Ninja camera doesn't move like the Mario camera, but whatever. We can't do this mission yet. So I think we're gonna end it here. As much as I, I really want to pre-record some of these videos and just, but whatever. We're gonna end it here. Next time on Super Mario 60, Super Mario Star Road, we're going to uh, head to the, we're gonna head to the next course. Um, I'll see you guys next time. As always, remember to smile. You're the face of Complex and then the Nine Gaming. Goodbye.